Hi guys, and this video is about the machine learning projects for beginners. So if you are a beginner in machine learning, so these projects would um, give you a little uh, knowledge, know-how, um, feel of machine learning projects. So we'll discover a few 10 most uh, important projects of machine learning. Let's start. So the first one is Iris Flower Dataset. This is called the Hello World Program in Machine Learning, as this is the very basic machine learning project, which requires no data pre-processing. That means you don't have to clean the data. There are no missing values. And what happens is here we have to classify this uh, iris flower, flower into three classes, Versicolor, Setosa, and Virgin, given four features. Okay, So this is a multi-class classification problem here and uh, 150 instances 50 in each class so 50 data we have of this flower 50 of this species and 50 of this species and uh, i have done it in the uh, further video so please uh, find it in the description box the link and also the video next is uh, breast cancer wisconsin data it is uh, uh, Diagnostic data set in the healthcare sector and again a classification problem and Our objective here is to predict whether the cancer is dangerous that is malignant or it is benign it is Not cancerous. So it has uh, 33 features and it has 569 instances and Out of which we know that there are 375 which are benign and 212 are malignant cases So this prediction is also been done so you please go and refer. Next is uh, Boston House Price Dataset. Now this is a classic example of a regression algorithm. So if you want to practice uh, regression problems, this uh, data set will be helpful. And here you have to predict the house prices for given few features. And the data contains, contains 506 instances and 14 attributes. So, next is the wine quality data set. So, as you can see in the figure, we have to classify whether the wine is white or red. And you've got 12 attributes, the columns, and 4,000, more than 4,000 rows. And uh, these features are like acidity, volatile acidity, the certain chemical properties on which you have to classify the wine. Next is the... Uh, the Pima Indian Diabetes data set. This is also a classic example in machine learning if you have to apply it in healthcare sector. And the objective is better to pre predict whether a patient has diabetes or not. And this has been done given basic uh, few parameters on that. That is nine features that have been given. BMI, insulin level, age, etc. And there are 768 instances in this of which we have to uh, that means the cases here and uh, we have to predict whether there's diabetes or not again a classification problem next we move on to ImageNet now this is a very interesting machine learning project if you want to do go for like uh, imaging and uh, into computer vision and this is an image data set which is organized to word net hierarchy now uh, there's this a data set of WordNet, which is around uh, 100,000 or lakh of uh, words, or you can say word faces, and these, these are called sync set or synonym sets. So what happens is, in an image net, suppose this is an image, and I have around uh, 1,000 images of pillow, different kind of pillow. So that image together would be classified, or it would be tagged as pillows, or suppose different dogs. So those like 1,000 dogs or so, or 100 dogs or so will be, tagged as dogs so you're classifying that into one more uh, manageable format so that is ImageNet and it provides an average of like thousand images to illustrate each thing set to illustrate each words which has been there so it, it is a very you know useful data in machine learning which is which will organize the data very very um, in a very clear manner next we go to Twitter sentiment analysis. Now, this is an application of natural 
language processing nlp and um, it's a good project to start with with the sentiment analysis like you can see here we have to we have to understand the tone of the message whether it is negative or it is neutral or positive so it can also help in um, identifying the hate speeches which or any provoking insightful comments which which are posted on twitter so this is how twitter handles it uh, its classification it's it's a uh, uh, post you know the tweets and they can also remove it through machine learning if any uh, negative or harmful insightful comment is there so we can classify it using machine learning next is the amazon review data set now this is another example of nlp and i mean an application of nlp project now this involves more than a million reviews which has been gathered which has been gathered by amazon over like 18 or 20 years and few features are like ratings user info review and the title so based on this uh, you can just classify or you can just uh, you know understand what reviews is it good is it positive or uh, was it helpful so this this is a great help for amazon to understand and improve on the products improve its revenue also next is the bbc news data set now what happens here is you have to classify the text into five predefined classes now this bbc news data set has uh, now this is, since it is a news website it has got thousands and millions of data news and which are of different category so we've got five different categories here business entertainment politics sports and technology and you have to classify that news under these head depending on the data so that's what you have to do do the text preprocessing and many more things are involved in here and the next is spam sms classifier now this is very basic because you have to classify whether a given sms or a message is a spam or a ham so like uh, you've been given you know this is a snapshot of uh, the words which appear most of the time and you have to classify them whether it is a spam or a ham so that's what we do with nlp and this data contains more than 5000 messages so we'll see how we you know in practical how do we really classify it and uh, i think the, this is the end of this video this was the last one and uh, i hope you will enjoy